I have 13 boxes of comics here. These are all full of key issues. Over the next few days, I'm going to do a bunch of videos going through all these boxes. Okay, let's go through box number one. All right, this is going to be a lot of fun because I know, you know, over the years, every few months, I just put a box together and I just try to throw in all the key issues. As you can see right here, this is Iron Man 184, the 332. So everything I else I have in runs, but I like to pull out the key issues and kind of hold them separate. All right, let's dig through this bin. We got Katie Keen, number one. Beautiful issue. I'm almost done. I just need one more issue to complete that run. We got Dark Horse Presents, number one. First appearance of Concrete. Okay, we have uh, True Love, number one. Also Dave Stevens cover. I, every time I find Dave Stevens for like a buck, I'm really happy. We have Dazzler, number one. I think this issue will start going up pretty soon. The cover's gorgeous. And, you know, the Taylor Swift fans, if she does play Dazzler, that's going to be a really in-demand comic. Uh, Journey into Mystery number 98. Not 100% sure if it's a key issue. It's just a, you know, better older Thor issue. So it's worth a bit. Uh, Conan the Barbarian number 24. The first full appearance of Red Sonja. Love that issue. Uh, Edge of Spider-Verse number 2. The first appearance of Spider-Gwen. Uh, Fantastic Four number 45. The first Inhumans appearance. Ultimate Fallout number four, first appearance of Miles Morales. Uh, Amazing Spider Man 529, the first Iron Suit or Iron Spider. Uh, Hulk number one, the Dynamic Forces version. It's the first appearance of the Red Hulk. She Hulk number one, her first appearance. Ghost Rider number one, I think this is the first appearance of Son of Satan. Uh, Miss Marvel number one. Awesome Bronze Age key. Fantastic 446. First full appearance of Black Bolt. Love that issue. Uh, Avenging Spider-Man number 9. This is when Carol Denvers becomes Captain Marvel. Not as valuable as it was from when the first movie came out, but still a key issue. Uh, Star Wars number 1. This one I used to sell all the time when I got them just because they weren't worth too much. But after Disney bought them, the price just really skyrocketed. Uh, Tales of Asgard number one, pretty high grade. No, actually, it's got some creasing right there, but other than that, it's pretty decent shape. Uh, I think this is an underrated, I believe it's a reprint or it has reprints in it, so it's relatively affordable. Underrated Silver Age book, though. I love the cover. I'd buy it just for the cover, honestly. Uh, New 52 Batman number one. That was really high demand for a while there, maybe like seven years ago. Uh, Amazing Spider Man number 129, first appearance of the Punisher. It's probably like a 6070 condition. Really happy to have that one. Uh, Jimmy Olsen 134, first appearance of Darkseid. Super cool key. Underappreciated, I think. Um, well, it's funny. It's Darkseid's first appearance, but he's only on a little teeny monitor. So it really is a cameo. But that seems to be the one that people appreciate the most. Uh, Harley Quinn number one. This one's in pretty high grade. And I got for 50 cents years ago and a lot. Really happy to have that. Uh, All Star Comics presents number 58. First appearance of Power Girl. Awesome key issue. Uh, another She Hulk number one. I'll pick those up anytime I see them cheap. Uh, Hulk 271. First comic appearance of Rocket Raccoon. Uh, Tomb of Dracula number 10. It's a good mid grade copy. First appearance of Blade. Absolutely love that issue. All right, Captain Marvel number 13. I believe that's the first appearance of Carol Danvers. Uh, Captain Marvel 17 second print. This is the rare Kamala Khan cover. Uh, I believe that's her first appearance or first full appearance. I want to say, uh, this is quite an expensive comic these days. Not as much as uh, at the peak, but still has quite a bit of value. Uh, Deadpool 45, the hip hop variant cover. That one's pretty valuable. Uh, Marvel two and one number one. I love this man thing. The thing. Awesome cover. One of my favorite series. Love that issue. Saga number one, modern day classic. I love owning those. I have a multiple of them. Iron Fist 14, first appearance of Sabretooth. Uh, the Killing Joke graphic novel, the first print. Miss Marvel 18, the first full appearance of Raven. Love that issue. Uh, Marvel Superheroes featuring Captain Marvel number 12. This is the first appearance of Captain Marvel. Which I think... Yeah, I also have a 5.5 copy on the side here. So two copies of that. 
Uh, if you see duplicates, I'm not selling duplicates. These are all my PC. Uh, Journey to Mystery 109, also Magneto cover. I uh, I just love collecting these early appearances of Thor. Not in the best shape. I'm still happy to have it. Iron Man Submariner number one. This predates Iron Man number one. I think it continues the storyline. Awesome comic book. Uh, Infinity Gauntlet number two. A little bit cheaper comic snuck in there. <laughs> Avengers number 17 in pretty high grade, probably like a 7 or 8. Beautiful copy. Long shot number 3, a really underappreciated comic. And number 4, I don't think they're like 5 to 10 bucks, but absolutely love that series. Uh, Fantastic Four number 38. I, uh, I think this is the second appearance of Medusa. I forget off the top of my head. Tales of Suspense number 47, kind of low grade, but still early Iron Man appearance. Absolutely love that. Uh, Iron Man number one, really fun key issue to get. You know, his first appearance is through the roof, but this is the one that you could afford for a few hundred bucks. Super cool key to have. Uh, Doctor Strange number 169. This is when they switched the title into his own title. So it's a bit of a key issue. I love that issue. Love the cover. Uh, I forget what issue this is, but it's a beautiful Michael Turner cover. This was limited or exclusive to their website. So that's a pretty cool comic to have. Amazing Spider-Man number 50. This is the one where he uh, gives up being Spider-Man. Also the uh, first appearance of Kingpin. So really, really cool key issue. Love it. Great cover. Great issue. Avengers 257. First appearance of Nebula. I love that book. I pick up all the time if I see it for cheap. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 41. First appearance of Rhino. Avengers 196, first appearance of Taskmaster. Anything the Avengers can do, I can do better. So in the comics and in the cartoons, he's kind of a loud mouth. He's kind of uh, like condescending and fun. And like, I really feel like they did him bad in the... Uh, like, I don't mind the gender swap, right? It's not the gender swap that was a problem. It was the fact that they made him into a mute robot, basically. And not the loud mouth character he is. That's why I don't like the MCU version of him. Uh... Captain America number 34, the Dynamic Forces variant. Beautiful, beautiful Alex Ross cover. Absolutely love that one. Uh, Mighty Avengers number 67, an awesome Ultron cover. Love that one. All right, Miss Marvel number 16. I think this is the first cameo appearance of uh, Mystique. Well, Raven before she's Mystique. So that's a cool key issue. Uh, Batman number one. This is, I think, the B variant or ratio variant from the New 52. So the rarer version. Uh, another Avengers 257. I do pick this one up every time I see it. First appearance in Nebula. I absolutely love her character. So, Like, I wasn't a fan of her character before the movies. But once the movies came out, I became a big fan of hers. All right, Batman 227. A classic, classic, beautiful cover. Absolutely love This is one of my favorite issues from the Bronze Age. Uh, Marvel Spotlight number 5. Now, this grade, it's kind of low grade. Maybe like a 3-0. But it's the first appearance of Ghost Rider. I'm just thrilled to own it. Awesome issue. Uh, Fear 19, this is one of my all-time favorite key issues. I buy it all the time. I think I have five of them now. First appearance of Howard the Duck, absolutely must own for me. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 316, I think this is the second cover appearance of Venom. Awesome cover, absolutely love this issue. Such a great key issue. Uh, Fantastic Four 36, I think this is the first appearance of Medusa. Awesome key issue. I like her character, so I think it's just a cool issue. Uh, Avengers number 13, a pretty high grade, probably like an 8-0 copy. Beautiful. Be I love getting this early Silver Age Marvel stuff for cheap. Uh, X-Men 14, first appearance of the Sentinels. Absolutely love that. I love the X-Men. I think they're probably my all-time favorite Marvel characters. So I love having these X-Men keys when I can get them. Uh, Daredevil number 6. This one is, you know, it's got somewhere. So it's probably like only a 4 or 5. Probably a 4 because it's a little bit of a tape too. But thrilled to have it. I love having these low number daredevils. They are fantastic. Oh, we got two more. They fell over. Uh, oh, yeah. This is my other. I, yeah, yeah. This is a pretty high grade of Amazing Spider-Man number 62. Absolutely love this Medusa cover. I think it's an awesome cover. The, you know, it's a little bit off-white, but it's not too bad. Usually, they're a lot more yellow. So, I'm actually really happy to get that. And then, finally, in this box, we have Fantastic Four number 34. A beautiful earlier Fantastic Four cover. I love collecting Fantastic Four. I really need the... Well, the reason why I'm doing all these videos is because I want to get all my key issues sorted out because I kind of want to start seeing 
was Silver Age keys I need to fill in the runs because I would like to work on my Fantastic Four, my X-Men, and my Spidey runs. And anything else, pretty much, from the Silver Age. All right, amazing. Okay, it was super fun to go through the first box. I have a lot more boxes to go through with you guys. It was a ton of fun. Look for the next box in a video coming up very soon.